welcome. This is Melinda Barlow, CZT, and today we are going to draw the tangle pattern, pattern Schneck. And I'll tell you, tangle patterns names drive me crazy because I never can pronounce them right. It's spelled S-H-N-E-K. And I'm sure that Haney Wallenberger, who's a CZT, pronounces it a lot different. Um, she has a blog called Zen Joy, and this was published on her blog in May of 2014. I mean, 2015. And I'm sure I saw it then at some time, and, but maybe not. I don't know. And I, I didn't particularly, I couldn't draw it. And I just kept at it, and I uh, challenges and this one, this last time, it just kind of clicked. I think Haney has changed it just a tad, but I taught it in class today, and a young seven and a half year old, he said, um, told me that it um, it looks like an eight. So we're going to start, and we're going to start out by just like you would make a figure eight. So we start out, and we go up. Come around and like you're going to go make the figure eight, but we stop right there. And we come and do another one, and we stop right there. So you can see that figure eight, it's half of a figure eight. And we stop. And this is a great border tangle. Now, this is how it starts, it ended before. It was just this much of a tangle, and then there was some shading. But Haney's come back, and she's drawn another line, which to me just makes this tangle amazing. So we're going to start here, and we're going to go around, echo, and just echo this, and come down. And magically, we have Schneck. Then we do some shading, but as I was drawing it, I thought it needed just a little bit more. I like a little dimension. So I'm going to start here at the bottom, and I'm going to go up. And then I'm going to color this in. And for me, this gives this some dimension. And as I was doing this, I noticed that I could even give it more dimension if I alternated the shading or the coloring in. I alternate going back and forth from either side. It also helps give it some dimension. And there we have Schneck. I'm just going to put a little bit of color up graphite right along this edge and I'm putting it fairly thick because I want it pretty dark so I'm making little tiny circles and then I'm going to take my shading stump and I'm just going to blend this out oh and by the way my student's name was Spencer and I teach at my library every week. I teach an after-school class on Mondays. And then I teach another class on Tuesday um, during the day. Kind of at, it's just 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And the after-school class um, is amazing. I get kids usually from anywhere from 5 years old up to adults. And they are just a delight to, to teach. And Spencer always has a comment. He is so much fun. Now we've shaded the one side. Now, I like to clean my shading stump periodically. And this one's kind of dirty, so I'm going to clean this one up. Because you don't want to get too much graphite on there with your shading. You kind of want to watch that you don't get too much. And I'm going to do it back down this other side just a little lighter to another just follow that line down and 
This one you may find is a little harder tangle to do. I'm going to draw it one more time so that you can see it. And think of Spencer and being almost eight. He tells me that his birthday is in May, so he is nearly eight. And brilliant. We're going to make that eight and stop it there. Come around and stop. Now we're going to come back. And there we have Schmidt. And we are going to color. This time I'm going to alternate all the way up. And another thing you can do is you can take that pencil and fill in a little graphite behind. And then I'm just going to take what's left over so it's a very light bit of graphite around the outside edge. You can see I'm going back and picking up little graphite out of the center. And there we have it. You can see some of my examples that I did. And um, just an amazing tangle. Thanks, Haney, for this tangle. Didn't like it to begin with, but now it's the best border tangle I've seen in a long time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please leave a comment. And look forward to my um, videos on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Thanks for watching.